guys so let's get into part three of great skies i need to kind of quiet down some because it's a little little quiet here it's early in the morning here girl so a little asmr girl i had some of those asmr videos anyway girl so all right you guys so we ended part two how do we end part two byron being nosy as hell doing some internet research uh snooping around trying to find some information on lamont and kendra okay so we're gonna cut over it's a couple of days later we're gonna cut cut over to um kendra and lamont at home kendra has been riding around town and her car has gotten really dirty so she goes downstairs and she lets lamont know he's in his office again on his computer supposedly working and so she goes into the office and she's like hey babe uh i'm gonna go ahead and take my car in and get it washed in detail he's like are you sure are you sure you don't want me to do that for you and she's like yeah it's okay i need to get out of this house anyway so driving around on those country roads baby her car has gotten um filthy so she decides to go ahead and take her car in to the local car wash right so she gets in the car wash and she sees the young man there and he's like, hey, what are you here for? She's like, yeah, I want to go ahead and get my um, car washed in detail. It's all right if you'll hand me your car keys, we can have you in and out here in about an hour, right? So she sits in the little waiting room, right? And he leaves and um, goes outside. Now this car wash is all clear see-through, um, glass. You know how those dealer, not dealerships, those car washes or auto places typically are like that anyway. So she sees him heads on. She sees him talking to some, um, other guys that are, you know, cleaning up a car. They all turned around and they're kind of looking at Kendra. And that's when one guy stands up and it's Byron. And Kendra sees him. They make eye contact and he smiles at her and waves. That's when he excused himself and comes in. And he's like, hey. She's like, hey, you work here? He's like, yeah, I work here every now and then, you know, just some extra cash to help out my auntie. And she's like, that's cool. He's like, are they taking care of you? Because if not, you know, I can go out there. She's like, no, no. She starts laughing. She said, no, everything's fine. They're taking care of me. He's like, all right then. Well, I guess I'll see you in a couple more days. And she's like, yep, I've seen you in a couple more days. And he's like, bye, Kendra. She's like, bye, Byron. So he heads back outside. And the guys that are out there that initially had saw her, they started looking at her still. One of the guys is like, hey, is that you? He's like, man, no, that's the wife of the family that I'm gonna start helping out from Chicago and I'm gonna start helping out around their house. And one of the guys was like, that's the wife? And he's like, yeah. He said, like, she's fine as hell, man. He's like, yeah, but she's married. I don't know if y'all didn't see the belly, she's pregnant. That's when one of the guys on the other side of the car, he was busy vacuuming. He gets up still with the vacuum in his hand. He's like, man, she pregnant? And Byron said, yeah. He said, man, I don't know about you, but some of the best sex I ever had was for a pregnant woman. And Byron was like, what? He said, yeah, man, some of the best sex I ever had was with, was with a pregnant woman. And the good thing about it is that you ain't got to worry about pulling out. That's when Byron was like, you silly man. So they all start laughing and busy cleaning out this car. And that's when Byron kind of turns around and looks at Kendra and it's like, hmm, she doesn't see him because she's on her phone, right? Busy on her phone or whatever. So within the hour, she gets her car back. It's detailed, it's clean. She drives off. So while she's leaving the car wash, Byron turns around and waves at her and she waves at him, right? So she gets home and Lamont is downstairs at this point making himself a snack. And he's like, hey, honey, um, so how was your car? Is your car all clean? She's like, yeah, it's all clean. And she's like, guess who I saw at the car wash? And he's like, who? She's like, Byron. He's like, he works there? She's like, yeah, apparently he works there every now and then. And Byron, and, um, Lamont was like, well, he's like, I hope he still has time to help us. She's like, yeah, he seems like he, he should be okay. So, um, so Kendra goes into the living room and that's when she looks down at her phone and saw that she had a missed call. I guess she was so busy daydreaming in the car. She got a missed call from her friend Tiffany and she left for a voicemail. Her friend Tiffany's still back out in Chicago. So she gives her call back and she's like, hey, Tiff, what's going on? And Tiffany's like, hey, Kendra, now look. I know you told me to wait until the baby comes, but look, honey, I need to see you. And Tiffany's like, okay, what does that mean? I went ahead and booked myself, and I'm flying out there next week. 
And Tiffany was like, really? She's like, yes, honey, I'm coming down to see you. So go ahead, dust off that, <laughs> dust off one of those guest bedrooms and be ready. So Kendra's excited, even though she's only been away from home for a month, she's homesick. She doesn't know anyone in the small town. And so it's great to see her friend, Tiffany. Tiffany sits at about 5'10". Mama is tall. She wears a size 11 shoe. <laughs> Mama sits at about 240 pounds. She's really 250, but we like Tiffany, so we're going to say she's 240. She sits at about 240. 240, you guys, on someone who's 5'10", looks good. It's going to hit the right places, if you know what I mean. Um, she's chocolate. She has very exaggerated facial features, high cheekbones. Um... And she has short hair, extremely short hair. She's relaxed, but have a very short, very short hair. Um, almost like a fade, basically. Very, very beautiful, statuesque woman. And Tiffany is in her mid-30s, so she's like 35, 36. So a little bit older than Kendra and Lamont, actually. So she has gone ahead and booked herself a plane ticket down, or a, a trip down to see her good friend. And Kendra's excited, so she lets Lamont know. She's like, hey, guess who's gonna come in to town? To see us and he's like who and she's like tiff and lump one's like oh hell <laughs> but he says in a in a jokingly way they all know each other they all met in college so it's cool right so fast forward to the day that tiffany comes in tiffany is excited she comes in tiffany's loud girl i can't be that loud this morning because it's early tiffany comes in tiffany is the type of person when she walks in all eyes are on her she is the life of the party um and so she's like hey honey she comes in she's like how's my little baby and she rubs her she rubs kendra's ba belly and they sit on the couch in the living room and they're just catching up um tiffany is enjoying herself a glass of wine that's when they're interrupted with a knock on the door now kendra didn't tell her she knows that byron was hired but Kendra doesn't give her any details. So Kendra was about to get up, but Tiffany's like, oh, hold on, honey, hold on, mama, you sit there, let me get it. So Tiffany gets up with her wine glass, opens up the door, and she's a little shocked, you know, by the way he looks. And he's like, hey, um, my name is Byron. Could you just let Kendra know that I'm gonna get started in the back here? She's like, well, hey, um, nice to meet you. My name is Tiffany. If you're going to be out in the back, I'm going to be up here in the front if there's anything that you need. And he kind of smiles at her white teeth glossing. He's like, all right then. And he just walks out. <laughs> Tiffany closes the door and she swirls around with the wine glass, child. And she's like, Kendra, who, um, who was that? <laughs> Kendra's like, girl, you are crazy. That's Byron, the guy that we hired. She's like, I didn't know he looked like that. She's like, yes, girl, he's okay. Kendra's, uh, Tiffany's like, Kendra, he's a little more than okay. Look, my man would never let me have someone like that around the house. And Kendra's like, yeah, that's your man. Lamont and I trust each other, so we cool. So Tiffany looks at her and says, like, mm-hmm. So, y'all, that's when Tiffany can see Byron through one of the windows. Byron comes around the front, and Tiffany was like, hey, Kendra, um, why don't we just go sit out on the front porch? It feels real nice up out here. We can sit out on the front porch. So Kendra looks at her suspiciously and smiles, and it's like, you are not an outdoor person. I know what you up to, hussy. And Tiffany rolls her eyes, so they sit outside, right, because Byron has moved to the front now, y'all. It's the weather right now is really nice. It's not too hot, but it is humid, okay? So Byron has taken off his shirt while he's working in the front yard. So they sit down on the porch. When he comes to cross, Tiffany's like, mm. <laughs> Byron hears her and he looks at her and smiles and laughs. He's like, well, hey, y'all enjoying the weather out here? And Tiffany said, like, yeah, enjoying the weather and the view. So Byron laughs at that and he just continues to work. He's a little shy about it, not embarrassed, but a little shy about that. But he continues to work. Honey, Tiffany and Kendra don't say anything. They're just enjoying the view. After about five minutes, they don't want to, you know, seem like they're creeping on the guy. So they go back, go back inside. So... About an hour or two pass, and Byron knocks on the door again, and Kendra said, well, come on in, and he comes in, and he's like, yeah, well, I'm about done, you know, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. When Tiffany rolls around, she's like, 
tomorrow if you're not doing anything later on tonight why don't you have dinner with us and Kendra looks at her he's like I don't know I don't want to intrude on y'all again I mean if that's okay with Kendra Kendra's like that's okay Byron you can have dinner with us my friend's cooking you know so if you want to have some good seafood then he's a like, word I'm always down for that so Byron makes a plan to head back you know go home wash up and he's gonna come back later on for dinner Okay, so fast forward to dinner. Um, Tiffany Honey has cooked all this nice seafood, craw well, I don't eat seafood, y'all, but crawfish and stuff, baked potatoes and fried shrimp. She's done it up. You know, she wants to do everything great for her friend. She wants her friend to relax, okay? So she's done cooking and they're all at the dinner table. So Byron is like, so how long have y'all known each other? And Kendra said, too long. And Tiffany laughed. She said, this hussy. She said, well, we all met in college out in Chicago. And um, we've known, we know a lot about each other, sometimes a little too much. And so, again, they're just talking, having good conversation. And it's starting to wind down and get a little late. Like, so, um, Byron, um, I don't want to intrude on the family here. So I went ahead and got myself a hotel room in town. And Kendra's a little shocked by this because she thought, you know, Tiffany was going to stay with her. And she's like, Tiffany, are you sure? She's like, yeah, girl, I don't want to intrude on y'all right now, you know. So I went ahead and got a hotel room by Byron. I don't really know myself around my town, so would you be willing to um, show me where the hotel is at? Byron looks at her and kind of smiles. And it's like, yeah, I can show you where it's at. And so Kendra's like, this help us. So... <laughs> Tiffany goes ahead and says bye to Lamont and Kendra, and she follows Byron and his car to the hotel. So they get there, and he helps her with her luggage, and he's kind of stalling on the way inside, right? Because he just want to hand her off her luggage. So that's when she turns around, and she's like, so Byron, um, I know that, you know, we just met, but if it's okay, would you be willing to come in for a nightcap? And so he looks at her and he's like, you know what? Under any other circumstances, I would because you bad, you're bad. And she kind of smiles. She's like, but unfortunately I got a lot to do tonight in the morning. It's best if I just go ahead and go home. Now, Tiffany is a little taken aback because rarely do men turn her down. So honey, she looks at him and is like, mm, all right then. She grabs her bag and goes, she snatched her bag back from Byron and goes up the um into the hotel. And so Byron just looks at her and shakes his head. Byron goes on home. He sees his aunt there. And his aunt is Aunt Nora. Y'all, he, he has an Aunt Nora. So, and she's the one with Alzheimer's, okay? So he gets there. He gets a TV dinner out of the, um, out of the, freezer, warms it up. He goes into the living room where his Aunt Nora is dozing off after looking at pre-recorded episodes of The Young and the Restless and he kisses her on the cheek and nudges her to wake up and she looks up, smiles at him. He tells her that she has some food. All right. So fast forward, um, one or two days later, Tiffany has gone back to Chicago. They had a good time, you know, and Kendrick was really glad that her friend came down. So Lamont, unfortunately, has to travel out of, out of town um, on a business meeting. meeting. Um, this is one of many business trips he's going to have to take over the course of the next few weeks. I'm just going to give you that disclaimer. Kendra doesn't know that yet, but we know. Okay. I, hey, I gotta leave here, but I'm gonna make sure you are well taken care of. So he approaches Byron and he's like, hey man, um, I gotta leave here on a business trip and my aunt is pretty busy so she can't come by. Is it okay if you check in on Kendra every now and then? I mean, I know you'll be here, and um, but just check in on her. And so he's like, yeah, I could do that because this is the thing, you guys. Kendra and Lamont House is about five miles away from any other neighbor. So if something was to happen to her, you wouldn't know. So he's like, yeah, man, I could check in on her for you. Mm, okay. <laughs> so Lamont ends up heading out the next business day. And sure enough, Byron comes over to check up on her. One night when Byron's done, Kendra's like, hey, you know, I was going to go ahead and have some dinner. Would you like to join me? You've been working hard all week. And Byron looks at her. He's like, are you, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, come on. Come on and have some food with me. So they're eating, enjoying dinner. And that's when Kendra's like, you know what? Would you, would you like a beer? 
I can grab one out of the fridge. She's like, you know, yeah. He said, but let me grab it. So she's like, okay. So she stays seated, seated down with her in her belly. He gets up and he grabs a beer, right? So y'all, two or three hours have passed by. And so he looks down at his watch. And y'all, by the way, it's also raining. It's raining right now, raining season. And they can hear it and it's getting harder. He's like, well, you know, as soon as it clear up sun, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. And so that's when Kendra was like, you know what? Why don't you just spend the night here? And I know you gotta get home to your aunt. So, but just spend the night here, rest here. And as soon as it clears up, you can go home. Look, Byron, you're almost like family. So I can go ahead and change the sheets on the guest bedroom. You can sleep in there and then go on home whenever you're ready. Just make sure you lock the door. He's like, okay, cool. So he follows Kendra into the guest bedroom. And y'all, at this point, Kendra is exhausted. Baby, honey, she is tired. So she's taking the covers off. He's helping her, taking the covers off and she's putting on the fitted, fitted sheet. She's tired, and he looks at her. He's like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm just tired, I'll be okay. They put the other sheet on, they put the blanket on, and that's when she's like, okay, I'm just gonna sit down here and rest for a minute. He's like, that's cool, go ahead. She sits down and rest, and he takes his shoes off, right? Cause he's trying to get ready for bed. And so she sits on the bed and rests. And he's like, okay, I'm just gonna head in here real quick. As he goes into the living room, I don't know what the hell he's doing in there, child. Kendra lays down and baby, she falls asleep like that, right? He comes back in and sees that she's knocked out. So he's like, all right, man, it is still raining really, really bad outside. So he goes into the living room. Now they have leather couches, y'all. And I don't know about you, but sleeping on leather couches is not comfortable. So he goes back into the living room. He doesn't want to go upstairs. He goes back into the guest bedroom, excuse me. He looks at Kendra. Kendra's knocked out. She's snoring. He looks around. He's like, okay, fine. He takes off his white tee. Hmm. <laughs> he just has on sweats. He keeps his sweats on, right? He takes a pillow and he puts it in between himself and Kendra, okay? And he makes sure she's okay. And he falls asleep. That pillow lands on the floor. Kendra in her belly or tossing the turn in, in the bed. And they end up in a, what is it called? Spooning, you guys, where her back is against his belly and his arm ends up around her belly. So Kendra feels something against pressing up against her back. And we know what it is, baby. So she turns around and in her confusion and sleepiness and you know, slumber, she opens up her eyes expecting to see Lamont. Baby, it's not Lamont, it's a Byron. And she lets out a <gasps> That's when he snaps open his eyes. And he's like, oh my God. And that's when he realizes that girl, he's been aroused. He has a full on erection. <laughs> he gets up. He's like, I'm so sorry, Kendra. He grabs a pillow, y'all, and try to hide some stuff. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, you know what? I need to just, I should just go ahead and go home. She's like, yeah, why don't you just go ahead and go home, you know? And so he apologizes again, honey, and races out of that bedroom and heads on home. Kendra, again, kind of sleepy, but she's, she is like, huh? Kendra, you know, she hears him, closes the door. She locks up behind him. And she sits down at the kitchen table, y'all. And she's like, well, damn. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's part three.